moves closer. Not only is the wind going to pick up closer you get to a center of circulation, the higher the wind is going to be, but we're also going to continue to get that fetch of moisture. I made a kind of analogy yesterday. Think about if you were in a pool and you were holding something like a popsicle stick and you ran it through the water. How high of a wave do you think that's going to make? Very little, but if you took your arm and fetched it out over the water, it's going to make a huge wave. Well, that's just kind of giving you a perspective of what Helene is doing across the southeast. These huge, long outer rain bands are just pulling in an intense amount of moisture, giving us extremely heavy rain and continuing that right now. So let's take you through the rest of your day. We are expecting those on and off heavy downpours. And notice here on First Alert Futurecast, this heavy band of rain that is going to set up through the city of Atlanta. So for places like Nancy Creek, more heavy rain is likely for you, which is only going to add to the brevity of the situation there, not only at Nancy Creek, but across North Georgia. And as we go towards six o'clock, here is the center of that storm. You can kind of see this void here along I-20. Uh, and this sometimes can give a little bit of false hope to people when you think that the rain is done and the wind is kind of picking up. You're like, oh, the rain is over. No, that is one of the dangerous parts about hurricanes because then the backside comes through just as dangerous along that eye wall. This is when the wind is really going to start to pick up paired with very heavy rain, not only from Athens up into the mountains, but all across Metro Atlanta as far to the west as Rome. So over towards Floyd and Chattooga County, taking you to 8 o'clock this morning and beyond. That's when the rain continues to lift north. So as we make our way past 8 o'clock conditions starting south of Atlanta, to the north, that's where we will see the progression of conditions improve when it comes to the rain. Keep that in mind. That's important to note. So we'll start to see clearing first in our southern counties, Troop and Merriweather, and then Atlanta as we head towards 8, 9 o'clock. And by 10, 11 o'clock, we'll start to see clearing even in our far northern counties, but still some residual rainfall is possible. And the wind is still going to be extremely gusty. As Ella has talked about this morning, the track with this storm, it's going to turn into a tropical depression, ultimately a remnant low hanging out kind of near Kentucky. That will keep our winds still fairly elevated. And with the ground as saturated as it is, that will still promote that danger for trees to come down. So something really important to keep in mind. Here's a look at just an estimate. This is just an estimate from one model, okay, of what we're expecting through the rest of the day. Now, I want to kind of put a little bit of an asterisk on this because some of these rainfall rates within just an hour, we're looking at an inch to an inch and a half an hour. And as we continue to go through this for the next about three to four hours, these numbers could be greater. So here's a look at what our estimate estimated totals are as we head into the rest of the night tonight. Anywhere from about half an inch to over two inches, close to three inches of rain possible area wide on top of what's already been about seven inches of rain picked up across Metro. So again, that is going to add on to the flash flooding threat, that high flash flooding threat, which by the way, accounts for 80% of flood related damages across the United States. So when we saw that issued yesterday, that is something that meteorologists look at and see very rarely and take extremely seriously. Uh, so again, more rain to come. You'll want to stay off the roads this morning. Do not drive this morning. And I do caution you even as we head into the afternoon and evening, because it is going to stay breezy. Don't let your guard down because, of course, trees could still topple. You really want to be careful on the roadways today uh, when it comes to things like cleanup, because I know a lot of you will be needing to do that over the next couple of days. I would encourage you to wait until Saturday for that, if possible, uh, just because the wind will continue to die down and it'll just be a safer situation for you. Brooks Alana, we'll send it to you. All right.